starring Jan Clayton, Tommy Rettig, George Cleveland, with John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. What is it, Jeff? It's a raccoon. It's been hurt, too, probably by a trap. I'm gonna see if I can get it to take him to Doc Weaver. You better smile. Why? So he knows we're friendly. Animals can tell. Wag your tail, Lassie. <laughs> Easy, fella. Not gonna hurt you. Easy, fella. You can stop smiling now. I can't. My cheeks are stuck. Come on, we better get this guy to Doc Weaver. Take my fishing pole. Come on, girl. Mm. Better get Lassie out of here, Jeff, until I'm through. He's making the rack cool. Oh. Sure, Doc. Go on out, girl. <laughs> you heard me. Go on. Is he hurt bad? Not too bad. Cuts are deep, the fell men. Trouble is the tendon's damaged. He won't be able to move around much for a while. Well, that's okay. We'll take care of him. Oh, no, we won't. I ain't gonna have no raccoon around here getting into my hen house. We'll cage him, Gramps. No, sir. We just can't turn him out in the woods like that. He'll starve. I never did see a raccoon that wasn't too fat. Just right, George. With that foot, he's in no shape to do any foraging for food. Please, Gramps. We'll let him go when he gets well. You wouldn't like a little animal like that to die, would you, Gramps? All by himself? Well, all right. But see that he's locked up good. Oh, we will, Gramps. Thanks. Come on, Timmy. We'd better build a cage. Quiet. Well, he's supposed to be that way. Doc Weaver gave him a shot. Anyhow, they sleep in the daytime. <laughs> Lassie, come here. Lassie, now I want you to leave that raccoon alone. Do you hear me? Leave him alone. Well, he's all well. And back in the woods. Then you can chase him. That's right. But until then, you just leave him alone. You understand? <laughs> Doc Weaver said how long it would take. Oh, about a week. That's too much for me. Oh, Gramps. Well, he certainly is cute looking. You decided on a name for him yet? Not yet. How about, uh, nuisance? <laughs> With that black mask, he could be Billy the Kid. Hey, Ellen? Mm hmm? How about Sam? Sam? Why Sam? I don't know. I just guess he looks like Sam to me. Sammy is. How is it, Doc? Oh, just about healed. He'll be in shape in another day or so. Oh, that's good. Say, how's Lassie been getting on with the raccoon? Well, she's leaving him alone like I told her to. Why? Well, I got a scoop. See you, folks. Hi, Doc. Thank you, Frank. <laughs>
how I got in, up the rose trellis on the outside. kitchen for mom sees it. scrounging for food. There's a raccoon for you. Come on, Lassie. He's still in there, Gramps. His door's locked and he's asleep, too. Yeah, but that hole ain't locked. That animal's got to go. If he's strong enough to bust out of that, why, he's strong enough to take care of himself. I'll fix it so he can't get out again, I promise. Please give him another chance, Gramps. Doc Weaver said he should have another day or so. You wouldn't want that poor little animal to die, would you? Now, don't give me any more of that sob stuff. Well, all right, but see you fix up the cage properly. Well, we will, Gramps. Timmy, get the hammer and nails. I'll go find some scrap lumber. Come on, girl. <laughs> Well, it's not Sam this time. Uh-oh. Just as I thought, that darn raccoon again. Tracks were all over the place. He got into the set in hand. And look, if you don't believe me, look at him. He's got egg all over him. Now, there ain't going to be no more argument about this thing. That critter goes back to the woods tomorrow morning. Gramps is right, boys. You've done a wonderful job taking care of him, but, well, he certainly seems healthy enough now. Well, I guess so. I'll fix the cage this time myself, and I know he won't get out. We'll get him in the truck tomorrow morning. Jeff, get me a hammer and some nails. You'll be a lot better off in the woods anyway, sweetheart. Come on. Go on, Sam. Go on. Bye, Sam. 
So long, fella. Goodbye. Nice seeing you. All right, come on, boys. Come on, Lassie. Well, gall darn the gall darn tarnation thing anyway. Gramps, you're saying bad words. No, it wasn't. But I was thinking them. Get the jack. I'll get the spear in the truck. Back there, I'll put the tools away. Timmy, have you been playing with my watch? I can't find it. No. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. It's funny. It's on my dresser last night. Can't leave any tools on this bench without someone stirring them up. Oh, Gramps, can we borrow your brace and quarter-inch drill? We're fixing the treehouse when we need them. No, you can't. You boys don't bring tools back when you're through with them. Well, I've always put things back. Oh, you do, do you? Well, what became of them washers? I made a special trip to Calvert to get. They were right here on the bench. Well, I didn't touch them. Well, I sure didn't. Then who did? Your ma ain't got no use for washers. We haven't either, too. You won't get the brace and bit until I find the washers. Well, that's not fair. Fair enough. That's the way it's going to be. Come on. Wait a minute. There's something fishy going on around here. There sure is. Well, I don't smell anything. Oh, I don't mean that kind of fishy. I mean fishy, uh, peculiar. The way all these things are disappearing. Maybe somebody's been taking them. Yeah, burglars. Well, burglars don't steal washers, Timmy. They don't? No, not unless they're made out of gold or something. Boys, dinner's ready. Tell Dad, would you please? Oh, Porky, want to stay and eat with us? Cold chicken. Oh, thanks a million, Miss Miller. Gramps? Maybe you just don't remember where you put them, dear. I know I put them on the bench. If people would just let my tools alone. I didn't touch your washers, Gramps. I didn't even know you had them. Maybe put them in the pockets of your other overalls. I got no more washers in my pockets than I got rocks in my head. Well, there must be some place. to take Lassie's ball. Oh, but he has all the other things that are missing, too. You mean he's been in the house? Sure. Lassie didn't bark because I told her to leave Sam alone. 
Well, I guess she got mad at him when he tried to take her ball. <laughs> Gosh, the weather was a burglar. I told you that critter being here would bring nothing but grief. Now there's only one thing to do. That's uh, set a trap for him tonight and get rid of him. You mean kill him? That's exactly what I mean. He's a violent and a menace. But Gramps, he... That's final, that's final. Well, I'll try my best to make him change his mind, but I'm afraid it's gonna be pretty hard to convince him. Thanks. Now, did you all want to go finish your dinner? Oh, I don't feel too hungry. Me too. Or me. All right, boy. Lassie, I want you to find Sam. Think you can do it? Find Sam, girl. or something to put them in. What do you know about that? Oh, Grant! Yeah. Leslie found Sam's storehouse. Look, here's all the stuff that was missing. And some stuff that wasn't, too. Well, ain't gonna make it any later on just because he found something, you know. Dad? Dad, look. What is it? Well, well. My. What is it, Gramps? I've never seen it before. Your father gave that pin to me the, the day we were married. Yeah, it, uh, it belonged to your grandmother before that. I gave it to her on our wedding anniversary. That was a long, long time ago. Then you, your mother wore it when she married your dad. She thought it looked pretty on her. We lost it somehow when you were oh, about a year old. Remember how terribly upset I was? Because I wanted to give it to you, give you your ride, when the time came. Oh, Dad. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, I guess I can't be too hard on the animal since you found this. But you boys see that you catch him tonight, and we'll take him out of the woods so far that he, he never will come back. Well, we will. Thanks, Grant. Thanks, Grant. Didn't I, Sam? Well, you take it easy. I hate to do this to you, but it's just for tonight. That should hold you. Lassie, you stay here and keep an eye on him, okay? So long, Sam. Come on, Timmy. Here we are, there's some raccoon tracks. You have plenty of company here. Let him out. Come on. You're free now. Go on. Bye, Sam. All right, let's go. 